We're back with another Excel speedrun with no mouse. Before we get started, this case is provided by the FMWC completely free of charge. Link in the video description. So if you want to see some background on the case, or if you want to try this yourself before seeing the solution, pause the video, click on the link, download the case, and take your best shot. Again, it's free. The price is right. All right, so we get started by using index match to bring in the teams in each seed from the assumptions tab. Similar to my other videos, I rename this tab A, so I don't have to type it out every time. Do it once and then copy paste down to all 16 seeds in the bracket. This is a sports analytics case called Jet Hockey, and it is stage four case two from the FMWC 2021 season. Uh, then we're gonna add our supporting columns so we can fill out the bracket. We need the team name, the C number, and strength and the dates of each game so we know when the teams get set home if they lose. Seed number and the team name are easy. We're just gonna grab that from the left using a modify formula. Um, and now the strength comes from the assumptions tab. So we just copy our first index match formula, change the columns and lookup to bring in this, the strength instead of the team name. Not all strengths are unique. Uh, in case of a tie, the case says the winner is chosen alphabetically. So I'll use a nested code and left function to transform the first letter of the team name into a number. The numerical code for capitals A, B, C, etc. They ascend. We do want the opposite, so we subtract from 100, and then we divide by 100 to make the whole thing a decimal and then add it to the strength. Next, we pull in the dates each seed leaves the tournament if they get knocked out in a given round. I use the modified formula here, so I can just copy paste down without any gaps. Bring it in if it's a number, and if it's above 40,000, which pretty much ensures that it's a date value. Do this for round one in the quarterfinals. We don't really care about the semifinals because if you lose the semifinals, you're still in the third place game. So we do we do our third place game and the finals and just copy paste down. And then after we do this, we are we can uh, fill out the bracket. So here we go. Uh, so now we're going to fill out our bracket after we fix these two formulas. Okay. Uh, so we're going to use index match in the bracket on two things. Team name and the team strength. And that's going to determine who wins every game. If the strength of the team on the top is higher than the strength of the team on the bottom, we just choose the team on the top. Otherwise, we choose the team on the bottom. And we do this for every game in the bracket, uh, changing our references if necessary. Notice how I lock the columns using F4. This way I don't have to change that as I copy paste the formula to the next rounds, which are in different columns. While I'm doing this, uh, one note on the speed run. Uh, you're you're going to see that I will not do bonus question number 10. And that's because it's an optimization question answered via solver. Once you use solver, it becomes less about skill, less about pure skill, and more about who has the fastest CPU. And that pretty much goes against the idea and the spirit of speed running. So I just skip it entirely. So we did uh, first round, we did quarterfinals, we did semifinals, and now we're going to do finals. Or we're doing semifinals now, and then we're going to do finals. And then after that, we can uh, bring in our assumptions and determine the, uh, the effect on the uh, economy. Let's get our winner. That's Boria. Great. It's, uh, we're going to bring in our assumptions now and determine the total spend. So bring in the first cell, drag down 26 to get the number, then drag across to get the names and the data points. Total spend is three things. So it's the number of people times spend per day times number of days. Uh, two types of people, fans and supporters. So we have sections for both and then a grand total at the end, which is the total of both uh, spends. Fans first, that's easy. Uh, number of people is going to be total number of people times the percentage of fans. <coughs> Daily spend is given by the assumptions. Number of days is given by the case, 18. But my plan was to do a max of the dates minus the min plus one for best practice. We don't have the date each team leaves a tournament, so we're adding that right now. We do a count ifs to see how many team is in each round of the bracket after the first. If it's zero, that means they lost in the previous round, so we're just going to take the date that corresponds to that round. Uh, once we do this for each round, a nested count ifs, 
we're going to proceed with our formula max minus min plus one. We don't really need to lock the, the uh, columns here as we're just going to copy paste down. Great. Um, so then the max of all the dates minus the min plus one and it's going to be 18. That means they spend the whole, spend every day there. And then the total, as we stated before, is going to be all three multiplied together. And the supporters are similar. The number is the total population minus the population of the fans. Uh, only if the team is in the tournament. So we take care of that criteria with the count ifs. Spend is the same as before. So we're just going to reference that. Uh, and then for days, we're going to use index match on when the team uh, left the tournament minus the min, which is when the team entered the tournament, uh, plus one. Supporters don't stay for the whole tournament, just for when their team is in. I think plus one. And total is going to be same as before. All three multiply together. So we're going to finish we're finishing up here. Here we go. Copy and paste formats. And then nest is by with an if, if and a formula. Um, total is all three multiplied together, and then grand total is easy, it's a total of both. Copy and paste down, and then we can answer the questions. Question number one is easy. Who won? Uh, Boria, so we just reference that in the bracket. Number two, how many days will the fans of Conca spend? That's in our table. Or supporters of Conca. Um, total fans, number three, that's the sum of the total fans column, column H. Number four, total supporters. We got four fields in each section, so that's four to the right of H, or column L. Total fan spend is going to be one to the left of column L, or column K. Uh, we're going to skip six. As we know, seven is the grand total, and that's four to the right of column L, or column P. Now number six, how many more teams, how many teams have more fan spend versus supporter spend? So we go to our grid tab and use two criteria. The first one is the supporter sp spend exists, our supporter is greater than zero. And then does fan spend uh, exceed supporter spend? After this, use a count ifs formula after we copy paste down. Count ifs is true. Eight is the same as seven, but we're going to use the alternate assumptions. So we're just going to go to our grid tab at alt hom, that's hom to copy the tab, and then alt hor, h o r, to rename it grid two. Remove the spaces because I copy my answer from seven to eight. With spaces, you have to add quotes in the formula, and it's get, it gets messy. I pasted in 9 by mistake, but we're going to fix that. We go to our Grid 2 tab and change the team name lookup from columns I to J to use the new assumptions. Um, that way we're using the new assumptions. And then uh, we realize our mistake and copy 9 to 8. And we're going to use an index match to copy nine or to answer number 9. And that's going to conclude our speed run. We're going to break 8.30 here. Um, pretty happy about that, as this is my first time breaking 10 minutes. Uh, not bad for a 300 point case. Um, so yeah, pretty good. All right, here we go. See you next week.